Hello Team Ropers, Chad Mathis, Helomatic, Ask the Pros. We're going to go over a short topic today that I guess I didn't realize the importance of until I saw it the other day at a rodeo. Uh, we were at an indoor rodeo uh, close to home here and the steers were dead fresh. They'd been run through a couple times and they said they hadn't been roped yet, but so they kind of knew where the back end was, but that was about it. And I was almost the last team out, and all I could see the whole performance was all these steers coming out and just driving left, driving left. And I mean, we're in a building that's 150 by 80 wide, and when those steers are going left and running that hard, the headers have no room to, to rope and then no room to do anything. And, and I guess the main thing I noticed why they were running left is because it looked like all the healers had been practicing their rodeoing, and their horses were just blowing out of the box. And I even saw a couple guys try to hold their horses up, and they, they couldn't even hold them up. They were blowing out of the box so hard. So that's what I wanted to touch on today, especially getting into springtime. Everybody's going to be roping fresh steers. And so, especially with this horse, this is the horse that I haul all the time, he's really strong out of the box. And so constantly, it's a constant battle when I rope the machine or slow cattle, I'm always making sure that right through here, as I come out of the box, that I've got his attention. And, and what, I, what I say by got his attention is I should, be able to, I should be able to have him leave as hard as he wants, but when I pick up just a little bit, that wasn't very much pressure right there, he's paying attention. Okay, I want him to, to want to blow through here if I need him to, but I want to be able to hold him up if I need him to. And so, from what I saw at that rodeo, everybody had an idea in their minds that they were going to go try to be really fast at that rodeo. I think 5-8 I think ended up winning first, 7-3 seven, seven, ended up winning second, and the last two holes were legs. And this is a pro rodeo. And it was all because they were trying to drive those fresh steers and rope like they were at the NFR. Um, practice for where you're going. Think about where you're going. Find out how big the arena is. Find out what kind of cattle you're going to rope. Get your horse prepared for where you're going to go. And, and that's what this was about today. It, it wasn't necessarily about rodeo. I know, I know a lot of people that watch these videos aren't rodeoing, but... It's, it's more about knowing where you're going, finding out what kind of steers you're going to row, and preparing your horse for the situation. And so in the, in the weeks to come, whether you're going to a rodeo or a U.S. roping or a World Series, whatever it is, find out what the situation is. Ask guys that have been there before what it's going to be like or what it's like and prepare yourself and your horse for the situation you're going to. I guarantee you your winning percentage will go up. So un until next week, this has been Chad Mathis, Helomatic Axe Pros, and uh, we'll see you next time.